started working in India a couple of years ago on a water project and uh, it was my very first uh, entrance into India and I was interacting with very rural people and especially very rural women and uh, I really recognized the plight of the women there and it was, it was just um, it was astounding and I felt that I needed to do something. So while I was there I was fortunate to meet uh, now the organization's co-founder Jason Kea and he was working in microfinance um, and personal banking with women in that region. So together we formed uh, an idea which was a women's leadership conference that was locally driven, locally led by local women leaders. And so we held our first conference and it grew into this mass movement of women that's now Ekdunia India. So currently we have about 200 women uniting under our banner and it, it's just growing. Uh, it, it's very grassroots, like I said, so very uh, locally led and very exciting. The name of it in Hindi is Ek Dunya, and that stands for means one world. And that particular name is understood by many of the vast dialects that are spoken throughout India. And it really has a special meaning for the group of people that we work with in India. We do a lot of educational workshops, health workshops, um, and a lot of just locally led programs with the women. So issues that we discuss regularly are things such as their personal health, um, sexual health, um, health of their children, as well as we talk about education and uh, ways that they can become educated so that they can start to earn a living and start to have more um, independence within their communities. So those are a lot of things we work around. Uh, we also discuss things such as personal banking. Just speaking about money and currency, many of these women have never been able to hold a rupee before, a piece of their currency. Uh, so we talk about how to use money, you know, what increments they come in, what is a bank, how do you use a bank, things like that. Saving money, uh, informing together with a group of women called a self-help group to uh, really come together to work on projects so that they can save money and work together. So a lot of our projects really focus on unity among women, joining together and empowering each other on a local level. To raise funds for Ekdenya to help the women of India, a special luncheon is planned for January 18th. Well, actually, this particular luncheon is sponsored by CNC, the College of New Caledonia, and it's going to be held in their atrium area. And the event is really focused on Agdunia, speaking about what we're doing in the field, giving real examples about projects that we're working on, updates and things like that. Um, within, there is a ticket that you purchase, and within that ticket, um, you're able to enjoy an Indian buffet luncheon, including butter chicken and everyone else's favorites. And uh, there will be some live entertainment as well, um, and a presentation by myself. And it'll, also, it's just a really nice um, atmosphere and, and uh, a, it enables people to connect around global issues, around women's education, around health, and connects like-minded people together. So we're really excited to be able to hold this event in conjunction with CNC and really get an, a wonderful gathering of people together for a, a same cause.